Smart guides let you align an object to other objects or to the artboard while moving or drawing the object. The reason they're called smart is that Illustrator automatically generates the guides and then hides them on the fly to indicate when objects are in or out of alignment. In CS4, smart guides are more flexible and less obtrusive than ever before. They're also turned on by default, which I can confirm by going up to the View menu and noting the check mark in front of the Smart Guides command. See also that you can turn on and off Smart Guides by pressing a keyboard shortcut Control U on Windows or Command U on the Mac. Once you have Smart Guides turned on, just hovering your cursor over a path goes ahead and highlights that path. It also highlights anchor points, as well as telling you the exact coordinate position of the anchor point relative to your global rulers. As you draw an object, you'll see how that object aligns to the artboard, as well as to items like the bleed right here, and to other objects inside of your illustration. You'll also see the measurements of that object as you draw it. For example, I can see that this object has a width and height of 234 points. Now I'll go ahead and take that new object and I'll move it to the back of the stack. So we can see both the interior rectangle and the exterior one. You also see smart guides when you move or transform an object. For example, I'm going to go ahead and copy this object right here by dragging it and then pressing the Alt or Option key on the Mac and I can see a variety of information with readouts of distance or delta, angles, XY coordinates, and other minutia. I can also center an object to the artboard. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this wine glass down here. And I'm going to drag it up until I get that wine glass exactly centered, as you can see by the indication of this center point. If you have problems centering an object, for example, let's say I'll go ahead and zoom out a little bit. Let's say I decide to draw a rectangle around the word POW right here, but I want to make sure that I'm starting my rectangle at exactly the right location. I can't find the center point, so I'll go ahead and bring up the layers palette and turn off the icons layer so that it's not interfering with my smart guides. Then I'll switch back to background and there's my center point right there. I'll go ahead and drag while pressing the Alt and Shift keys or the Option and Shift keys on the Mac, until I get a rectangle that's exactly 200 points wide and tall. And then I'll go ahead and bring my icon back up on screen. And now I'll go ahead and assign the square a color. Smart Guides also work on artboards themselves, so if I switch to the Artboard tool, I can go ahead and drag these artboards along with their contents to different locations in alignment with the other artboards inside of my illustration. Note that you can modify the behavior of Smart Guides as well. I'm going to switch over here to this illustration, a more complex one. And notice when you're working inside of a complex illustration, it can be pretty mind-numbing, the number of Smart Guide highlights that you see as you move around inside the illustration. So you might want to turn off, for example, the path highlighting. And you can do that by going up to the Edit menu on the PC or the Illustrator menu on the Mac, then choose the Preferences command, and then choose Smart Guides. I'm going to go ahead and turn off Object Highlighting. Notice you have some other options you can choose from as well. For example, you can gain more information when you're using the Scale and Rotate tools by turning on this checkbox. I'm also going to change the color of my Smart Guide highlights from green to this orange color right there. And now notice, when I move my cursor around inside the illustration, I no longer get those object highlights. I still do see my anchor points, for example, and my path outlines, as well as other information highlighted in orange. I'm going to end things by showing you a revised feature inside of Illustrator CS4. That's not technically a smart guide function, but it's definitely related to alignment. I'll move this rectangle up a little bit, and I'll move this rectangle down. And I'm going to change the color of this rectangle as well. Now let's say that I want to align these two rectangles with this one here. So I'll go ahead and shift click on the other two, and then once I've selected the shapes that I want to align, I'll click again on the object that I want to remain stationary. This will serve as my key object. Then I'll go up to the Align function here in the control panel, and I'll click the Vertical Align Center option in order to align all of the rectangles with the key object on the left. We've seen how Smart Guides allow you to enjoy the benefits of ruler guides, grids, and alignment functions on the fly here inside Illustrator CS4.